off-road guy here. I am putting, I already got it taken apart, mostly. Just gotta take the rockers off. I'll show, it, show the, the put back together. Putting the ARP head studs in. All right, after taking bore out the on the on the one the rocker spacer basically, as you see in the direction it shows that. So taking bore it, I already started grinding on a little bit. I'm going to use a burr bit on it, a non-ferrous burr bit. All right, ARP has a, a certain number of the bolts are taken and are, are longer actually than the others. You're supposed to see the ones highlighted. The ones right next to the exhaust manifold. They're supposed. To, that's where the longer ones go. I'm not sure why they're longer because I've already done one. And as you can see, the regular head bolts they're all the same size. All right, I'm taking and pulling the head bolts out one by one. And what you're supposed to do is screw the stud in all the way to until it bottoms out. And then I've been taking and putting a mark on it. You can see from that one, I put it on the front side. Then you take and rotate the stud a half turn out. So that, it's, as you can see, all I've done three of them. And... So you can see they're on the outside, and then you take and torque it down to 100 foot-pounds. And I've been doing it one by one like that, slowly. All right, well, I got all the studs in, and I decided, I originally you torque them to 100, and I just went through and torqued them to 135. Next thing is to start putting the, the rocker arms back on and make sure everything's put together right. Alright, just got the rocker arms on and torqued down. Torqued them to 27 foot-pounds. Next will be the, the cover, or the beginning. Alright, so I got the valve cover spacer on. And I just got done installing the, the gasket slash injector wiring harness. As you can see, all the injector nuts are torqued down. And then also I got the two injector harness plugs plugged in. As you can see, right there and there. So next step is put the valve cover on. All right, I got the valve cover on. There's only six bolts holding the valve cover. There's two down here, two here, and two straight down. And then you've got two, if you look, it's not showing up in the camera, there we go. If you look right there, you got one hose there to connect, one hose there, and then, one connector for the crank keys pressure sensor. And then there's the red tab. Push in. And now it's time to put the crank keys filter on. Then the crank keys filter just sits on and put the Crankies filter cover on, which it just, and then have to take and put in all the the bolts. Put the valve cover, or the oil fill cap on. Now I just have to tighten down the bolts for the crankcase filter cover. Yep, just got all the seven bolts and the one stud bolt back in. All done now, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do, like it on Facebook and YouTube and comment.